Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would do a regroup on a recent video that I uploaded. I think I uploaded it about a month ago. Am I in the middle? I don't know what my hair is doing. I do really love my makeup. If you're interested in this, I uploaded a get ready with me, a shorter form video. I will link it up here. It was really quick, really easy. Anyway, I uploaded a Sephora haul video and I gave you guys my first impressions, which if you follow along my channel, you know I don't really like to do first impression videos because you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. So I have been spending the last month and a half using these products on a daily basis. I have new formed thoughts on most of them, not all of them. And then I thought we would round out this video with a little Ulta haul. I went there the other day. A lot of hair stuff though, more so than makeup stuff, but I thought we would finish it out with a little bit of new new. Should I get closer to you? Yes, hello, hi, that feels better. So Charlotte Tilbury, I returned two things. One, I returned her pink pop blush that she came out with a couple months ago at this point. I loved the color. It looked so beautiful on so many people, but you know, I was sitting here and I was looking at my collection and I thought to myself, why did I buy this? If you watch my videos, you know that I really, really freaking hate the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Packaging itself is a mess. It gets everywhere. It's not travel friendly. I've gotten it on my clothes. I've gotten it all over. It's just the packaging is a mess. A lot of the times, like nine out of 10 times, I can look past it, but just like with the contour wand, I can't. Like I literally do not use that product because I have a fear that I'm going to get it everywhere because I'm the hot mess and I get everything everywhere. So I decided to return the blush because I just knew that it was going to end up the same way. I also returned the chameleon shadow stick that you guys saw. I think I bought it in pearl gray. I tried it that one time, but the cabinet VR sticks from Laura Mercier are so much better. I'm actually wearing one today. I literally took this, put it on my lid. If you watch the Get Ready With Me, you can see the whole tutorial, but I basically just drew this on the lid, blended it out with my finger. I used the shade Coco today. These are just more smoother. They blend better, quicker easier. Just the formula is so much better. And I find that the tones in the caviar sticks are way better than those in the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadows. So I really do love these. Highly recommend them. I did not open the Kerastase Hair Night Serum. If you know me again, you know I hair oil once a week. If you don't know what hair oiling is, I will link a video up here where I showed you guys my step-by-step -step tutorial on how I hair oil. But I go on Amazon and I buy hair oil for six, seven tops, like $10. So I thought to myself, why am I spending 55 to 60 bucks on this night serum? I did not try it. So maybe it is amazing. And maybe that will be something that I purchased down the road because maybe in the back of my brain, I'm still curious about it, but I just couldn't justify the price in my head. And I also wanted to buy these shoes that I'm wearing today, which has nothing to do with makeup, but I just, I needed new black shoes. These are from M. Jemmy. These give me like nineties Steve Madden vibes. I'm touching them. I know that that's gross, but I haven't worn them outside yet. I literally got them in the mail yesterday. I tried them on today. I'm obsessed with them. I just, I realized that I, I didn't need it is really the moral of the story. I really need clothes and I needed new black shoes because I bought this pair of INC heels like so many years ago and I loved them so, so much. My aunt Debbie told me to buy them, bought them on super sale. They lasted me for like five years. And then when Mike and I went to Miami, I think last year I had to leave them because they were so destroyed. And since then I haven't gotten black shoes. So I swapped the serum for fashion. I'm tired of neglecting the clothes that I wear and just focusing on my face. Like I wanna look put together from head to toe. So I need some new clothes. So mama bought some new clothes and I returned the $60 serum. It made sense in my head. Would that make sense in yours? Let me know down below in the comments. Super Goop SPF powder. You know, the one that I put on my face. It looked like I had walked out of a strip club, which nothing wrong with a strip club. I just, I didn't want glitter all over my face. I like glitter on my body. I like this. This is just moisturizer, by the way. I, when you watch my videos, I give you so much like so much gold. The Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C cream for your face, too heavy on my face. I've talked about this so many times. I have very sensitive skin and it makes me break out and I get bumps all over my freaking face. But what I've been doing is I've been using that face cream on my chest and I have to say, using a high-end face cream on your chest is game changing. My skin has never looked this good in my life. Like never looked this good on my chest. So if you try a face cream and it's just not working out for you, but you can't return it, put it on your chest, put it on your neck, put it on your decollete. Is that decollete? Decollete? I don't know, but put it here. Anyway, back to the super goop. I put it on my face. I looked like a gold tin man. It wasn't flattering. It accentuated my pores, my lines, everything that I didn't want 
to accentuate, it accentuated. I went for a walk one day and I was like, you know what, Mike and I were gonna go for a walk and I put it all over my chest so I can get this nice glowy effect. No, I looked absolutely insane. He didn't pay attention to me at all, didn't even notice the glitter. But then we went to my sister-in-law's house and she said to me, what in the hell is on your chest? It looks like someone dumped glitter all over you. I love it, be honest with me because I was really trying to make the product work. And I said to her, well, what do you think? What if I put it up my legs? Like I said, I'm trying to get this product to work for me. It's not, what if I put it up my legs? and she was like no that's it's it's too glittery and I love her and I appreciate her opinion because I went to Sephora and I told the chick at the counter listen this has to I have to send this back I'm never going to use this ever in my life it is terrible and she took it back and Sephora will take things back moving on those are all the things that I returned let's move on to the good good the stuff that I'm loving I'm gonna go with my skincare I love this so much the ultimate by Shiseido power infused concentrate. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because you guys knew from the last time that I uploaded my Sephora haul that I love this because it's so good. So many antioxidants. It really makes my skin look brighter. My skin looks really smooth. I'm in two good spots. I'm in a good spot with my skincare routine and I'm in a good spot with my handbag collection. And that is where I stand today. I love this so, so good. And I'm honestly just gonna keep repurchasing this because my skin really likes it. It gets along with it and it looks absolutely stunning under makeup. Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Under Eye. I feel felt meh about this in my Sephora haul, but since that haul, I've been using this every day and I gotta say, I really like this. It does a really nice job of brightening my under eyes. It helps to kind of reflect light under here so that I don't look as dark. It looks freaking beautiful under makeup. The only thing I'm gonna say is use a little, a little, a little, a little bit. Like I will take like that much, which is really like nothing. And I will dab it under my eye, dab it a little bit in the inner corner of my eye because I have very, very dry skin in there. A dab will do ya. Don't put too much. This will last me a really long time. I've been using this every day. It's nice. It does a really great job of hydrating. I do think if you put too much, if you have irritable skin, it will really irritate your skin. And I also think if you put too much, it will make your makeup move. So just be wary. Laneige. I'm so happy I gave her a second chance. This is a lip sleeving mask in Sweet Candy. She really plumps the lips. I've been using her every day. A little goes a very long way as well. It does a beautiful job of filling in the lines of your lips, really plumping them. And I've been wearing this over lipstick. Like if I'm wearing a lipstick that's a little bit too crusty dusty, a little bit too drying, I'll take a little bit of this, pat it in the center of my lips, and it kind of just fills them and makes them look really juicy. Only thing is that this does go bad, and that's what happened to my other one. I kind of didn't love it, and it got lost in the shuffle, but that's the beauty of having more of a minimalistic kind of makeup routine as I've gotten older. I feel like I've really, um, um, matured in the sense that I don't think that I need every makeup product under the sky. I think that we're all easily influenced here and you know you you see like even if you watch my videos and you see me use something like Laura Mercier the caviar stick maybe you see me throw it on and you're like oh I need that because in order to get that effect I need that product. I think a lot of the times it's about honing in on your makeup artist skills and you'll find that you can make a lot of products work for you in order to achieve a similar outcome without it having to be that exact item. Does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense, but I don't find that I need every freaking product that comes out under the sun. I kind of just look at my makeup routine, see what is missing, what could improve, see if I have anything already in my collection that could replace it, and if not, then I go ahead and I purchase things. So I'm doing a really good job of finishing products before buying new products, but yeah, I still bought a lot. Um, and I still do like to try new things. I tried this and then I tried other things in the mix because I did buy this quite a few years ago. Not this one, but a, a different one, the original one. And then by the time that I decided to revisit it, it smelled like it was expired. So I'm gonna use this every day until I run out and hopefully I get to the end before it goes bad is really the moral of that long ass story that I wanted to tell. NARS, I like this. However, hear me out. When you go in with this and you guys saw this when I tried it in the original Sephora haul video, it's very pigmented and it puts a lot of makeup on your skin. Granted, although it is very pigmented, it blends super easily. So if you go in and you end up looking like a clown, you just gotta take those 15, 20 seconds to really blend it into the skin. I'm just the kind of person where when I'm sitting at my vanity in the morning, I do my makeup in five minutes and I don't have the extra 30 seconds, 15 for this side, 15 for this side to blend this out. So it is very beautiful, I'm not knocking it. But this I reserve for more of like my weekend makeup. I love NARS, y'all know. I'm the biggest NARS 
fan. But if you're a guy or a gal who's just one, two, three, quick on the go and you don't have time to really like finesse and blend, I recommend the OG Sculpting Contour Stick. It is amazing. It contours while also kind of giving a nice bronze. Personally, I lean towards the OG Stick more so than I do the NARS bronzer, just keeping it real. Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream. I don't like the texture of this at all. It's very pretty. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it is like the prettiest light blue shade. And y'all know I am the biggest Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate Addict. And this is the Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream. It just feels weird. And I can't even explain to you how it feels. It's not very scented. So if you're someone that doesn't like scented things, it's not scented. I just don't like it. It doesn't feel very nice on the skin. It kind of feels like it doesn't pill, but if you were to feel it, it kind of feels like when you're rubbing it up and down, it's kind of fighting against your skin and makes you feel like it's kind of pilling. I find that it just sits on top of the skin. What upsets me the most about this is that you would think that since it's called Midnight Recovery, it would pair really beautifully with the Midnight Recovery Concentrate that I love so much and use as a serum every night, but I don't find that it pairs that well. The Midnight Recovery will sink in as much as it can, and then what's ever left over will sit on top of my skin, and then I go in with this and put it on, and it kind of, I don't know, like I can't explain it, it kind of just, it all just like sits on top of my face. I was really excited for this, and this was a really big letdown. I love this brush, and I honestly didn't think I would love this brush as much as I do. It has a biggie, biggie. It has a biggie, biggie, fluffy side and a smally, smally little side. I use this with powder. I see a lot of people on social media use this with cream. I haven't used it with cream. It's just really fluffy. I dipped it into my powder blush. I tapped it onto the apples of my cheeks like such. I like this little guy for like cleaning up. So I'll use the big side for powder blush or powder bronzer. And then I've been using this side to just like clean up underneath to just like separate the sections of my face so that my face looks lifted. It's good for multi-purpose for traveling. You have two brushes in one. If we were to go on vacation, I would most likely use this for bronzer and blush, the big side. And then I'd probably use this for either contour or like dusting off bake, like powder bake on my face. So I just think this is really versatile and I love a two-in-one anything. It just makes life more convenient for blush. I love this. I've been using this so much. This is the Tower 28 Cream Blush in the shade Rush Hour. You know, you guys have seen this quite a few times on my channel, I think at this point. Such a pretty color. Again, these are really, really pigmented, but the way they pick up the light, it just keeps your face looking juicy and glowy all day long. I've done quite a few wear tests on this at this point. I did a dedicated video on this Slay Slip slay. It does slay. So say, slay, slip tint with SPF 35. This is a tinted moisturizer. I really like this. Full disclosure, my husband doesn't really love this on my face. One time I wore it and he said that he liked it, but ever since then, every time I ask him, how does my face look? He loves foundation that I'm wearing today, which is the Beauty Blender. I'm pretty sure it's skin tint as well, but he just thinks that my skin looks, and my skin looks freaking flawless today. Does it not look freaking flawless? Oh my God. But he just likes this better. My husband doesn't like things that are too dewy. He'll say, oh, it's really dewy. And I'm like, is it dewy or is it like sweaty dewy? And he says sweaty and I won't think that it looks sweaty. I think this looks really nice, but take it as you will. And if you want a little bit more insight, again, I will link my wear test up here. I love that it has SPF 35 in it. You can apply it with a brush. You can apply it with your fingers. I just think it's great for the summer. It's good for those of you who just wanna throw something on your face to kind of even out your complexion. There's not a lot of coverage, but just the way that it picks up the light, really like cushy and hydrating. It's, it's a beautiful product and I can't say enough good things about it. Again, not a lot of coverage. So if you are a medium to full coverage kind of babe, I don't think this is for you. In a recent vlog, I will link it up here. I talked about all of the skincare tools that I'm just like really, really loving at the moment. I feel like I've really like upgraded my skincare tools. So new face, you know. You know I love my new face, but also this, Foreo UFO2. So basically put the mask that you buy specifically for this device and you lock it in here. And then this 
guy heats up the mask, it vibrates the whole device, and it gives a warming sensation. When I tell you that I am addicted to this product, my friends, I am not lying. For those of you who struggle with like period headaches, hormonal headaches, the warming sensation and the vibrating sensation. I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the Sephora haul that this device said it helped with headaches and I was like, yeah, okay. Let me tell you, it definitely does that. The LED lights, you can play around with them. I'm not, I'm lazy, okay? I like to get in and get out. Again, that is the vibe. So I've just been buying these masks and you download an app. This connects to the app. The mask that you buy has a preset kind of function that vibrates at certain times and uses certain LED lights. So the LED lights I believe that I've been using the most are red light, which helps with anti-aging and green light, which helps with correcting any discoloration or dark spots. I do notice that my skin is less red. It's just like a nice self-care moment and it feels really good on my skin. It feels really good on my soul. So I really like this. Wearing this today on my brows. I don't know. The brows are going through something. I say that all the time. Maybe, hopefully one day soon, they'll stop going through something. But this is the Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel with Brow Enhancing Serum. I can't speak upon the Brow Enhancing Serum because I'm gonna be honest, guys. I use this one day and then I don't use it again for like another week. And I think that in order for it to be brow enhancing, in order for you to see those results, I think you need to use this every day. But I don't like this, okay? I think this is great for those of you who have a decent amount of brows. My brows are not symmetrical at all. My brows are very asymmetrical. This one sits up higher on my head than this one. This one sits lower, especially in here. I feel like it's just, it's uneven and that's okay because honestly, I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of people don't have symmetric faces, symmetrical faces, do you know? And I'm not gonna shame myself for it, but I'm gonna tell you that if your brows are distant cousins, then this is not for you. It's very pigmented. I find that you can't get away with it as much as you can get away with other brow gels that I love. For instance, the Merit Brow Gel and the Essence Make Me Brow. I just feel like those are a little bit softer on my face. So if this brow is sitting a little bit lower, it's not as noticeable. I don't love this. I will not be repurchasing this again. I'm gonna tell you right now, I went to Sephora when I returned all the things that I mentioned in the beginning of this video and I bought myself another Merit brow gel. I have to say, I really think that I'm loving the Essence Make Me Brow even more. The difference, the key difference being that Merit has a brow enhancing serum in it and Essence does not. But Essence is $4 and I think Merit is like 24 to 30 bucks. So, and this is like 30 something. Do I think you need to spend the cash on this Dior Lip Glow Color Revival Balm. I bought the shade 001. Absolutely not, my friend. But it is such a beautiful, beautiful lip product. Like the way that it really just takes your lips and enhances the shade. And it has a slight tingling cooling effect that just helps to plump the lips and it kind of brings the blood flow into them. And I think that that plays a role in the coloring of the lips. It just genuinely, like if you were to look in a dictionary, in a makeup dictionary, I, we should make a makeup dictionary here. If you were to look up the phrase, your lips but better, this is literally your lips but better. Hydrating, but it's a thick formula, so it doesn't get all over. It's not gonna move into the fine lines of your lips. It's not gonna look too much like a gloss. It's just, it's so beautiful. I've worn it so many times. It just has the slightest tint of like a cool pink. It's kind of leans a little blue, super flattering, super comfortable. I love to wear this with lip liner or no lip liner. You can just throw this on your lips, one, two, three, call it a day in and out the door. Again, my kind of vibe. I've genuinely been using this as like a chapstick. I'm gonna stop talking about her because this video is already long, but holy shit, I love this. The Lip Fetish Divine Lip Shine. I bought Nude Venus. I love the packaging. It's got the little lips on it. It's just like every time I take her out, it's like sophisticated. Look at me. It's just cute. It's a nice touch. But like that is all the product that you get. And like granted, I have been using this for the last six weeks, but I haven't been wearing this every day because like I said, I have so many new lip products in my collection that I really do a good job of pivoting back and forth and back and forth. But that's like not a lot of product for how much money you pay. Like I honestly don't know. I really love this shade. I'll put a little bit on because you know, sometimes you just need to. It's so juicy. It picks up the light. It helps to fill in those 
those lines. It does all of the things that I need, want, desire a lip product to do. But I think like for how little product you get in it, I don't know if I would buy this again. And I want to say a drugstore alternative to this could be the L'Oreal Color Riches. But I also don't want to say that because the formula is different. Like those are a lot thinner and I don't find that they plump the lines as beautifully as this does. Maybe that'll be a mission for me. I'll have to find a affordable workaround for this product because it's just so expensive. And again, I can't justify spending the coin on so little product. You're really like paid paying for the packaging. I have a little bit of an issue with this. I love this color. This is what I'm wearing today. This is like the most versatile lip product. Mm, I don't know, because a lot of them are really versatile. I can throw this on my lips. It kind of gives me like lip glow vibes, but the two of them are very, very different. So this one is more hydrating. It has more of like a melty kind of a finish to it. The prettiest color. This is Gucci in Sally Soft Honey. I love how like skinny it is. It's just, it's really nice. Let me show you on the back of my hand. Depending on how the light hits it, do you see? It's like a pinky brownish tone, but it also gives a lot of shine. And this kind of color, this kind of sheerness, there's so much versatility to this lipstick. Depending upon what I pair it with, it can go in a multitude of ways. So today I paired it with the iconic nude lip liner. I feel like that vibe kind of goes with my outfit which is very neutral, like a kiss of shade. But I also have to say, I've been pairing it with my Honeybee Gardens Fantasy Lip Liner, which is more of a berry kind of like pinky purple lip liner. And it looks so good with that too. If you're someone that loves lip liners and you kind of just want a lipstick in your collection that will go with a wide variety of lip liners from nudes to pinks to purples, I think that this is a fantastic, a fantastic lipstick. Only thing though is that this has, again, a no shade to the grandma scent. Like it smells like I'm sitting at the vanity in my grandma's house. It's nostalgic to me, but holy shit. Like this is so scented sitting right here on your lips and you smell it for a really, really, really long time. It is very scented. It is very potent of a scent. So if scents bother you, do not buy this. Lawless in the shade Posy. I have to say all of the products that I bought in terms of lip products, the formulas are all similar, but very different. Very cushy, very comfortable. It's a little less slippery than Gucci. It has more of a thick kind of consistency to it. It doesn't budge on your lips. It's not gonna migrate through the fine lines. It's not gonna get anywhere, but the color is beautiful and it does give that sort of plumping effect. And this makes my lips look like they have no lines. It just fills in the lines so beautifully. It is such a comfortable lipstick. And again, a lipstick that looks great with lip liner, without lip liner, it has a plumping element to it. Definitely more plumping in my opinion than the Dior Lip Glow. And it's not like spicy. Neither of these are spicy. They both do plump, but Lawless plumps and fills it in, like fills my lips in. I cannot get enough of this. It's so pretty and look, it's the same kind of thing. It picks up the light. It looks really reflective, really juicy, but also it's pigmented just like Gucci, but this is more of a berry tone. I like this. We've talked about this. This is the Sephora. We've talked about all these things, so I don't know why I just said that, but Outrageous Intense. It picks up the light so beautifully. However, I do not recommend this at all. I don't, I can't, because I recommend it just for that. Like the, ooh, honey, the way it picks up the light and it makes your lips look huge. This plumps your lips and it hurts like hell, and it is called Outrageous Intense for a reason. Like all these other lip products that I've talked about plumping, they do not hurt. It's like a comfortable, satisfying kind of cooling feeling. This is like a raging fire on your lips. I like it because it really makes my lips look huge. This makes my lips look the biggest out of any lip plumping product I've ever used. I was playing in the playground with the little kids before I got up to the big, outrageous, intense league. I wanted this to be a lip product that I threw in my beautiful Goyard bag. I love her, oh my God. And just wore every day. I can't though, because it dries my lips out and they get crackly and they get disgusting. And you guys know I have that nervous habit of chewing my lips to death. So if I feel a little scraggle of dry skin, your girl is terrible and I just go to town. So 
it's not worth the pain to me. Will I use this? Yes, I will use it here and there, but I would not, I would not repurchase this again. Last but not least, and then let's get on to the haul. Oh my God, this video is gonna be a lifetime long. I bought the Sephora collection. I can't remember what the names are because it doesn't say it on here and it really annoys me. And these are legit the same as the L'Oreal Color Riches. Again, picks up the light beautifully, but is very pigmented, a beautiful, beautiful peach tone. When I paired these two together, a match made in heaven this is the more neutral nudie tone peachy nude i don't know these are very messy in the sense that they are such a creamy formula you can't just go you know like all over your lips and expect it to look good because they are pigmented and they are creamy so i like to put the nude tone all over my lips and then go in the center just like right in the pout I put the peachy tone and oh my god, the lip combo of the summer. I like to pair them with a lip liner because the lip liner acts as a barrier around my mouth so that this creamy formula doesn't bleed into the fine lines around my mouth. All right, let's move on to my Sephora haul. Let's make it quick, let's make it snappy. I'm tired of my hair looking like this. So I'm gonna put a little bit more effort and I know you've heard me all say this a bajillion times, but I think it's gonna happen for me. I've been eating really healthy. I've been exercising, moving my body, getting fresh air. I've just been living a more active lifestyle and I feel better about myself. And I wanna put more effort into my appearance because it makes me feel good. And in eating healthier and exercising more, I have so much more energy. So I'm gonna try these hair rollers and I'll let you know how it turns out. But these are from Kitsch. It's supposed to give long lasting volume, curls, finishing touch, blow dry to warm the rollers and allow them to cool and then gently remove them. And it's just gonna give volume from the roots. I'm very excited, but I haven't tried it. I bought this because I saw Tati Westbrook had it. This is the Pacifica reusable mask for your brow. I got Botox once, you all know. Tati, I think is 40 years old. Her skin is amazing. And I'm 32, so I'm really not that far behind. Tati has stopped getting Botox and fillers and all that kind of stuff, so she's back to just being natural. And I really don't want to do it again. Never say never. I kind of have been enjoying trying new products and seeing like what helps with anti-aging and what doesn't help. You know, it's easier to know what helps and doesn't help when you're not, no offense, cheating when you're not cheating. No shade to you, but if you're an influencer and you're using skincare products and you're like, oh, look at my cheek, there's no lines and you're getting like filler, like that's not fair. That's not realistic. That's cheating the system. So I've been really enjoying um, my skin lately. I think my skin looks great, but I have fine lines. You can see them. I have pores. I have wrinkles. Like when I smile, like they're there, you know? I'm just a natural human getting a little sagging in here, which is where I've been focusing my new face device on. So basically I'm gonna put serum on my head and then I'm gonna lock it in with this. I'm obviously gonna take it out of the plastic before I do that. Love that it comes with a little tray, easy to wash, store and reuse over and over and over again. And I love that it's so sustainable. Patches for dark spots, red spots, hyperpigmentation from Peach Slices. I love their acne spots. I've done a whole video on them. I'll link the video here. Basically you put it on and it sucks discoloration from your skin. And I have a dark spot up here, which honestly I'm doing pretty well. I've been treating her with a Uli Henriksen dark spot toner. She's fading. And with the use of sunscreen and wearing hats, like she's doing really well. But I want to try this over top of her to see if I can really remove her. And there's 176 micro darts that melt deep into the skin for fast visible improvement. Stay tuned. I'm very excited for this. I've been trying to take better care of my hair in terms of it growing. I want my hair to look nice and I like to take care of her. I like her to be soft. I don't like her to look fried. I don't like split ends. Who likes those things? I don't know. So at night I've been sleeping with my hair in a braid because apparently that's supposed to keep from tugging up top and ripping your hair. I don't know. These are just things that I've heard. I'm not a hair guru, but I'm hoping to become one. But my thing is that when I put it in a braid, that's fine on days where I just air dry my hair or when I straighten it. It's not ideal because I wake up and it's a little bit crimped, but it's not that bad. I have not been curling my hair for two reasons. One, I'm lazy and two, how am I going to curl my hair and put it in a braid? And I feel like if I don't protect my hair at night, that one time it's like counterproductive to all the other nights that I'm really taking the time in order to braid my hair to make sure my hair looks all right.
Okay, so I bought this. I'm gonna try her. I gotta curl my hair and see. Kitsch, again, same brand as the hair thermal rollers. Sleep beanie. I'm hoping to somehow just like throw my hair on top of my head and then put this satin lined hair wrap around my hair so that it protects my hair from breaking but also doesn't ruin my curls when I wake up in the morning. I'm excited about this. I'm excited, honestly, genuinely about all the freaking things that I bought at Ulta. Last but certainly not least because she is the sole reason that I even stepped foot into Ulta. And let me tell you something, it was all downhill from here. Very long story short, I went to Ulta. I saw the Morphe display. They didn't have this SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sun Setter setting spray. You know I love my Morphe Continuous setting spray. They came out with an SPF 30 setting spray. I am freaking trying it. And I'm gonna pray for the best because these never work out for me. They always make my skin look gloppy, gloopy, sweaty, Betty. Not a good look, and I haven't tried this yet. She's still in the box, but we're gonna do a wear test together, and we're gonna put her to the test. But I went, and I saw the Morphe display, and she was nowhere to be found, and God bless the sales associate that on my way out, she saw me walk in, and then she saw me turn right around to walk out, and she said to me, can I help you find something? I said, oh, like I know, because I work there. I was looking for the new Morphe SPF 30 setting spray. You guys mustn't have gotten it in yet. And she was like, oh no, I saw them somewhere. She found this for me and it was the last one. In my mind and in my makeup love, my love for makeup, I was like, oh my God, I got the last one. My friends, it is meant to be. And then I went and I got Splurge Happy and I bought all these things. So thanks to this, I spent like 80 bucks at Ulta when I went in there just for her. I already kind of like sprayed it on the back of my hand and it kind of felt a little greasy. But again, we're gonna try it together because it's important to protect our skin even when we're wearing makeup. And how else are we supposed to apply sunscreen over top of makeup? Because we tried that with the Super Goop and we all saw how that went. So that is it, my friends. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new here and you're not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would just scroll down, take one second to scroll down, make sure you're subscribed. And if you wanna click that little bell button next to subscribe, that will send you a little notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and my vlogs and all my videos. It's just, I've really been trying to open up here and I'm having a blast recording these videos again. So anyone that you watch, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you liked it and you like this idea of going over over products after I've used them for about six weeks or so, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I love you so much and I genuinely hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.